there are 16 human beings in this Grand Prix. Of which, I will start the race third. Yes, it's a 16-man lobby. I'm third on the grid in Germany. Thank you ever so much for tuning into this video. It means a lot to me. Although you might not think it does, but it does. So I'm in a virgin. No, not that kind of virgin. A virgin car. And I'm getting put out onto the track by my engineers. So, yep, point in that direction. I will drive in that direction. The Lotus of Canaries 10 sits on pole. Some other car, a Sauber, sits in second, and I sit in third. And why aren't the lights going off? Right, the lights are going off now, and we're... What? Everyone's away, but... What? Go... I'm away. What? I'm away now, and I'm down in P13. That's a massive hack start. I don't know what went on there. There's big, big accidents into the first corner, including a spinning out... Toro Rosso and Force India behind me there. I've got a Lotus down my inside. I don't know who it is, and I'm pushing him wide, and I've just about managed to hold on to the position. Damaged a bit of front wing. There's a massive more spinning out there. There was a Ferrari, and then a McLaren cutting up my wing, which almost sent me wide. Carnage into the first sector as we come now down towards the second sector. I've got a Lotus pushing me off the track here just blatantly. I think it's the same Lotus that almost took me out in the first sector, and he almost took me out for the third time in the Grand Prix, and we're not even into the third sector yet. Now with the Lotus again, I can't seem to get away with him. Someone's retired from the Grand Prix already. I'm getting pushed into the gravel. And I'm wide. And now I've got a Sauber coming straight through my inside. So it's Sauber and then me and then some other car. I'm in P8. So I've lost five positions from the start line, I think. If my maths doesn't escape me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, my maths doesn't escape me. I had to use my fingers for that. That's quite embarrassing. So, <laughs> we're coming through the little kink on the uh, straight here. And I've got someone that's whoring my slipstream by the looks of things. So, I've got to take this final game well. I'm usually quite good at it. Yes, I'm very good at it. And the Ferrari's wide there. So, I don't need to be up myself. But I'm quite good at that chicane. It's probably the only corner on the game I'm actually good at. But I'm good at that that corner. And now I'm behind this Force India. Nelson Ater in the Force India. So, I'm now right, right behind him. He's English. And he's British ahead of him. So now coming down towards the first corner. He broke too early. And I've managed to get the move on both of them into the first corner. But he's now pushing me a bit wide. And I'm now trying to turn. And he's just about managed to hold the position. Sending me slightly wide. Running me out of road. And now I'm going to try and get Daddy's inside. Well, I would have cut Daddy's inside if I didn't have a big fat HRT there. And now he's brawled with a HRT as we come down here. Someone's been disqualified. Like that butch guy is the Lotus that was spent the entire first set to ramming me off. So here we are now coming round behind the Force India trying to... Take him, but not quite succeeding, and now I'm still behind him, still P7, and I still can't seem to get any any progress on this Grand Prix that seems to be full of full of events and only three laps long. So now he's gone wide, and I should get the move done. And the Sabah's gone wide, and I've hit into him and lost it again. So on P6, I've gained one position finally and managed to hold it to the Sabah. The Sabah's going to almost send it. Well, he did send a bit of my ties into the ground, and I'm down into P7 again. I can't seem to make any progress, and now the two Sabahs are going to be brawling it out. Let's hope they take each other off, which is exactly what they have done. Which is brilliant news for me, except for the fact that one of them completely cut the chicane. I managed to get the move on the other one, so I've got so much more pace than this one. So much more pace around the outside. Is it going to work? I think it is. I've got the... Yeah, I've, I've had them both, unless they both commit down my inside for this chicane, which I don't think they have done. Yes, I've made a safe crossing of the chicane. And I've left the sound bus for chips. I've got myself to P5 now. Leaving all sorts of cars here, there, and everywhere for dead. There was a bit of... Uh, smoke in the gravel there so I'm assuming the car ahead has hit the gravel or something there's a big brawl going on actually ahead of me and there's also a Sauber thinking about going down my inside but not actually doing it I just saw the arrows you know the, the famous arrows that tell you if there's a car nearby and thought he's going for me but uh, I, uh, he didn't which is lovely so the McLaren is there so I should be looking to catch him and overtake him before the end of the Grand Prix should be possible. Will it be possible? Well, that's another story. I'm now looking around here now through the first sector, second sector. All those sectors accidentally clipped off my preview there, so I lost track of what I was watching for a second. As we come now down towards the head, and the McLaren's gone wide. Here we are. Oh, and the Salvat. There's a Force India there that's, well, looks like an easy take. 
I could get myself onto the podiums here if I take the McLaren and the Force India, but the Force India should definitely be able to be taken. He looks very sloppy. It's the other Force India, the, the sister car for the one I was fighting before. As we come down here through now, cutting across the grass a little bit. No corner cut, but I've obviously got DRS because it's the third and final lap. I've got DRS, I've got Kurz. I'm going to have to make a rash move down the inside in the final corner. But I don't think I'm close enough. No, I'm not. I think he has DRS as well ahead of me. And he's completely missed the final chicane. So he must have a penalty for that, surely. There's another Sauber there, uh, Force India there, that was stopped off. So I don't know what that's about. And we come across the line. And I get myself... What? P2? No penalties? Um, okay. If you could explain what happened there, please do in the comments section. I finished fifth and finished second. Hmm. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Goodbye.